So we've just received the Season 5 trailer for Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2, of course, is going to be releasing next Wednesday on the 2nd of August. And we were expecting a blog post release soon after this trailer, however, so far there's been nothing unless one surprisingly drops right as I'm recording or editing this video, which would definitely disrupt things, so I hope that doesn't happen. Anyways, this trailer is awesome because it confirms the return of Graves and he actually meets with Alex and Farah. I'll play that little clip now. Shadow himself. Heard you died in a tank in South America. What else you heard? So somehow Graves managed to survive the tank being exploded by the ghost team near the end of Modern Warfare 2's campaign. Now, he doesn't even have a single scratch on him, so I think he purposely faked his death and probably just was never even in the tank and potentially even remote controlling it or something like that. I have no idea, but the line he gives to Alex is funny, basically just saying, you thought I died or so you thought. This season is all going to be Shadow Company themed because we know that there's going to be a Modern Warfare 3 live event to reveal the game inside of Warzone, potentially even in DMZ. And this event is apparently all going to be revolving around Shadow Company, who are going to be trying to infiltrate Observatory Tower in Al Masra to secure some missile silos as well as some gas. I don't know if that's Nova 6. And there is a bunker underneath Observatory Tower that seems to be probably where all of these armaments are being kept. And we're going to be going in this bunker during the event. And we do know that Observatory Tower seems to be getting destroyed during this event because we saw within the artwork the other day that it was destroyed in the background. Now, within this trailer, it is not only a Season 5 trailer, but it's basically a trailer for the Modern Warfare 3 reveal event as well because they tease Observatory Tower at the beginning. They say the lights are going out. And I do wonder as to why Graves is meeting with Alex and the rest of them. What exactly is going on there? There has to be some sort of reason for that, some sort of truce. And what I'm thinking right now, and this is just speculation, is the reason why Shadow Company might now try and be friendly with them is because they are working both together to try and stop Makarov and the Russian ultranationalists because if Shadow Company during this event are going to be trying to obtain these missile silos and gas, it's most likely because they want to stop someone else from obtaining them. Most likely Makarov and the Russian ultranationalists want to capture these, but they're going to try and take them before they can, and that could be what the event entails. We might have to side with Shadow Company for the greater good. As to where General Shepard is, who knows? And although we only get a short clip, Alex and Farah seem surprisingly friendly towards him after all he did betray Task Force 141, so I don't know what that's about. Probably if they were actually there whilst he did the betrayal, they would have had none of it. Task Force 141 would have had none of it. Captain Price would have had none of it. So I don't know if there's going to be some tension building here now that they potentially might be working together. Now, Velikan is officially back from Shadow Company as well within this trailer. A lot of people are excited about this, of course. They went rogue within DMZ, but I guess that isn't canon. Something else we saw in this trailer is that a multiplayer map from the original Call of Duty for Modern Warfare is coming back, and that is Strike. We saw a little clip of it within this trailer, so that's going to be one of the multiplayer maps in this season. But what we actually receive in this trailer is we get our very first look at the brand new Warzone map, Las Almas. So, Las Almas is apparently going to be releasing with Season 1 of Modern Warfare 3. According to Insider Gaming, and the full release of Modern Warfare 3 is supposed to be on November 10th, with campaign early access a week prior. Season 1 is apparently rumored to launch on December 5th. Of course, these dates are subject to change because this is just according to leaks and it's not been officially confirmed just yet. But we already have a full map of Las Almas because it's in the campaign of Modern Warfare 2 and we already have a couple multiplayer maps in the game that is based in Las Almas that are going to be a section of this new Warzone map. So we've already gotten a little bit of a preview and, you know, we can already see them on the map. And we know all of the points of interest that are even going to be on this map, which you can see on screen. And one of the remade maps that's going to be on this is Favela. And within this short within the trailer that we see, we do actually see Favela. So yes, it seems like Favela is going to be a part of this map. There were rumours before Modern Warfare 2 released that Favela would be on the map that was coming with it, which of course was Al Masra. but I guess the leaks kind of got mixed up because I guess Al Masra and Last Almas were being developed at exactly the same time and they chose to release Al Masra as the one with Modern Warfare 2, Last Almas later. Maybe at one point in time, Last Almas was going to release as well alongside Modern Warfare 2, but they changed their mind. We did receive some leaks the other day from 
metaphor talking about how slide cancelling might be returning and talking about the maps apparently very similar to Verdansk and it's going to feature other remade sections such as Overwatch from Modern Warfare 3 and Countdown from Call of Duty 4. Now the reason as to why we see a preview of the new Warzone map Last Almas in this is probably because this section might be coming as a multiplayer map maybe unless this is just a teaser for Modern Warfare 3 and they just snuck it in there and it's not something we're going to be seeing in Modern Warfare 2 Season 5. I don't know. So what might be happening here is Favela might also be coming as a remade multiplayer map in this season but people are a bit worried about this because Favela's been in the files for a while so people were expecting it in this game but people thought it was then held back to Modern Warfare 3 and people would rather see it in Modern Warfare 3 because they prefer what Sledgehammer games are planning on doing with the gameplay systems and multiplayer so we'll have to wait and see. It is also possible that they could have some remakes in literally both games. Let me know in the comment section down below if Favela returns would you rather it in Modern Warfare 2 or 3. Either way it's going to be a part of the new Warzone map. Now like I said we are currently still waiting for the blog post because apparently Activision are going to be revealing to us exactly what the Modern Warfare 3 reveal event entails within that blog post so I don't know why it's not released yet. Of course we still have the full season 5 cutscene to be revealed and I'm guessing that's going to give more information about the reveal event. Like I said the reveal event is going to be right at the start of the season. Now yesterday they did accidentally post about season 5 early on the website and it mentioned reunite with a former enemy who was of course Graves and celebrate 50 years of hip hop history because there is a, an event for 50 years of hip hop actually happening in the real world now and we do know that 21 Savage and Nicki Minaj are apparently going to be coming as operators maybe in season 5 reloaded but that's not exactly celebrating 50 years of hip hop because they haven't been around for 50 years so I don't know if there's going to be even more operators that might be coming a lot of people want to see Eminem for example but that's everything we've learned today anyways thank you for watching the video make sure to subscribe if you're not here for latest and greatest Call of Duty news and information so anyways thank you for watching and uh, bye